The average Startup Streams lifetime member has a budget of between $350 and $500 a month to spend on ads, which is a modest amount to launch and conduct marketing tests on platforms like Facebook, Google, and the increasingly popular TikTok platform. But what if you don't have any marketing budget and want to send targeted traffic to your business? Then listen to this episode of the Serial Entrepreneur Podcast to find out. The Serial Entrepreneur Podcast, hosted by Startup Stream CEO, Eddie Eastman. So let's jump straight in. First of all, it's always important to acknowledge new features on social media platforms. This is because platforms like Facebook and Instagram will favor content on newly available features such as IGTV, Facebook Live, or YouTube Shorts. Social media platforms will want to push new features as much as possible to remain competitive, which means if you use these new features and use them well, the algorithm will favor your content, pushing it to more and more people. Discover which features are new on your favorite social media channel of choice and start making new content for a boost in engagement, shares, and ultimately traffic to your store. I felt that my industry of social media couldn't have been better fitting with today's subject. Mike Stelzner, who's head of Social Media Examiner, once said that social media is the fastest moving industry in the world. And you know what? I love it. Sticking with social media for a moment, Facebook groups are still effective. A Facebook group is a niche community where like-minded people can chat and discuss a certain topic. You can tap into your niche Facebook groups and let people know about your business. That said, it must be done tastefully, meaning, if you're to do nothing but self-promote, you're likely to get banned by the Facebook group admins. You need to make sure that you're producing between three and five pieces of quality and engaging content which your target market would be interested in between posting about your services. It's always best practice to also comment on posts and get social. It is called social media after all. Next, you can submit your blogs and content marketing on blogging platforms and vote up platforms like Medium and Reddit. This will help more people find your content and these platforms can help you reach a new audience group with content you have already published on your own website, making for a time efficient marketing method. Just make sure you post on these platforms tastefully too, as on Reddit especially, the user base is very anti-self-promotion, so make sure you're providing more value posts than promotion posts to remain relevant. Now, why not start a podcast? Take it from me, running a podcast is a great mechanism for getting the word out about your business and your services. You are listening to this Serial Entrepreneur podcast after all. A podcast is less time consuming than starting a YouTube channel, whereby your content is mostly visual, and you may find it is quite fun. You don't need lots of fancy equipment. You could record sound bites on your laptop or even your smartphone to start off with, then share it to social media. A podcast is another form of content marketing, which can help you with your store's SEO, if you post transcripts alongside your audio, and this is a great way to create rapport with your customers. I do believe that every one of you has the ability to start a podcast that is a small business or community show based on where you live. I believe the ability to be a media company or a content creator for your business is as required as paying your taxes and knowing how to manage your cash flow. You are listening to the Startup Stream Serial Entrepreneur Podcast with Startup Stream CEO, Eddie Eastman. Interview time. Why not interview someone of interest in your space or request to be interviewed? You may find dozens of content creators in your niche who are looking for interesting people to interview. You can capitalize on this by requesting to be interviewed. This can equal some great exposure, allowing you to tap into an existing group of avid followers. Just make sure you have a strong call to action at the end of your interview, either requesting a follow-up on social media or to buy from your website. If you interview someone of interest, their target audience could resonate with you. You can post the interview alongside the audio file or video file on your blog. Remember, all Shopify stores include a built-in blog engine, so it is best to utilize this as much as possible. One of the best ways I have used to market my businesses in the past for free is to contact and collaborate with other startups in my niche. I have done this with a number of startups I have been involved with 
and it can work wonders as you can tap into one or multiple pre-existing audiences as you and the business you collaborate with benefit mutually by recommending each other. I did this successfully with the clothing brand and managed to collect 1,000 emails before the company's launch by hosting a social media share competition. The great thing is that once the competition gained traction, I outreached to more and more businesses to take part in the competition. This added more prizes to it, creating more buzz, and as a result, gained an upward spiral in shares, engagement, and new companies wanting to get involved. You can do the exact same thing for your business. Next, you may know that content is king, but what if you don't have any content to share yet? Well, have you heard of a roundup post? You can create a quick links blog post with tons of useful links to other third-party content, which your target audience could find very useful. Amalgamating this type of content helps your potential customers as it keeps links to lots of useful info in one place and benefits you as you can then share the post by email or social media. Bonus points if you even tag in the original content's authors to social media posts to garner engagement. Make sure you organize the links well with headings and subheadings to allow for easy navigation. Before we get to my last free marketing idea for today, here are another four honorable mentions which you may wish to consider. One, you could promote a limited time offer. Two, you could answer questions on Quora or Yahoo Answers. Three, you could create a lead magnet and give it away for free in exchange for an email. Four, you could guest post on other blogs on blogging platforms and vote up platforms like Medium and Reddit. Last but certainly not least is our final recommendation today to market your business for free and that is to ask your friends and family for referrals. It is free to message everyone you know. So why not ask your network who they know who may be interested in the product you have to sell? You don't have a business to promote right now? Head straight over to startupstreams.com to discover the dozens of new businesses for sale right now. Thanks for listening. Listen to more episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, YouTube, and at startupstreams.com right now.